please subscribe. The Festival of Ebisco. It is estimated that on the average 200,000 people attend Ebisco every year. It takes place every November 19th and 20th at the Nishinomiya Shrine in Kiryu, Japan. It is the head shrine for the god Ebis in the Kanto region. Since 1901, many people during this festival ascend the steps of Kiryu's Nishinomiya Shrine to make an offering to Ebisama and to pray for good fortune in the coming year. So who is Ebis? He is one of the seven lucky gods of fortune. He is the only one that solely originated from Japan. He is the god of fishermen, wealth, and commerce. He is often portrayed wearing a tall hat and holding a fishing rod and a large red sea bream. According to the legend, Ebisu, also known as Hiruko, was the first child of Izanagi and Izanami. He was born with no bone structure and could not stand. It was a struggle for him to survive. Before he was three years old, he was cast into the sea. Eventually, he washed ashore in Ezo, now known as Hokkaido. He was taken in by the Ainu people the indigenous people of the Hokkaido area. At the age of three, his skeleton structure developed and he was able to overcome the many hardships. Although he remained slightly crippled in death, he was known to be happy, cheerful, and have good fortune. Therefore, he has been referred to as the Laughing God. The Hyotoko Dance, starring Hyotoko. Hyotoko means fire man. He is a comical Japanese character. He symbolizes luck, prosperity, and jolliness. His mouth looks like he's blowing fire out of a bamboo pipe. Also starring is Tengu, the troublesome demon. The dance is accompanied with a Japanese flute and drum. Let's take a moment and watch the Hyotoko dance. There can be as many as 700 street vendors selling goods along the festival routes to the shrine. The majority of the vendors are making and selling food. For example, okonomiyaki, yakisoba, takoyaki, taiyaki, and choco banana, to name a few. Since there are so many vendors selling the same food, some try to add something different to their food.
As you walk around Ebisko, you will see people carrying some type of ornamental stick. The ones that are made from bamboo rakes are called kumade. The other is called otakara, meaning treasure. It resembles a branch and has many lucky charms hanging from it. This otakara is unique to Kiryu. People from all over Japan, especially business owners, come to Ebisko to purchase an otakara or a kumade. These amulets, especially the kumade, rake in good fortune, success, and wealth. These rakes come in different sizes and can range from 1,000 yen to costing up and over hundreds of thousands of yen. When a kumade is bought, vendors get together and perform a sanbonjime, a Japanese ceremonial rhythmic hand clapping ritual. Three sets of claps, followed by one final clap, done three times. This indicates the end of the transaction and activates the luck in the rake. Did you know that the direction of luck changes every year? And the otakara and kumade are to be placed in the direction of the luck. But if you have a specific desired luck, then place them into the direction that matches the luck you desire. For example, Placing the kumade in the east increases your luck for business, company, and winning. Placing it in the south increases your luck for status and honor. Placing it in the west increases your financial luck. If your desire is to have luck at school, then place the kumade in the direction of the school. Luck needs to have a direct path. You may change the direction of the otakara or kumede throughout the year, according to your desired luck. After one year, you must return the kumade or otakara to the shrine and buy a new one. This ritual of buying and returning goes on every year. What does the shrine do with the old kumade and otakara? They have a ritual called otagiage where they burn all the lucky amulets or charms from the previous year with a sacred fire and pray for the wishes to come true. This burning ritual enables the amulets and charms to end their year-long role in a sacred state. But for now, take the kumede home and place it wisely. And good night.